Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very, very long time since I've recorded and actually posted anything because I lost my camera with like five videos on it and I just found it. So I'm going to have to like load them and edit them and all that jazz. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I went to Dollar Store, did a little tiny Dollar Store haul. But I do have a mask and chats planned um, to do. And let me fix my hair. And I have a topic that was really weighing on me. And I mean, I spent all of Saturday like crying. Yeah, I got really upset. And it's with the name brand. So, yeah. And I know I'm not the only person who has had this happen. But this was the first time I've ever had this happen to me. So, yeah. Mama wasn't happy at all. But yeah, um, I've been really busy. I just got my own, uh, what is it called? The Myro Pub, whatever. I don't know what it's called. It's just a continuous glucose monitor or CGM. But they have like another term for it. But um, I just got my own. I have it on. It's that little beeper thing that's different from my pump if you've seen my post on Facebook, I mean not Facebook, but um, my post on Instagram, then you would have seen it. So let's dig on in. So my husband had a thing with peanuts. He got these and he got another bag. Let me go get him. Yeah, so he got the dry roasted salted peanuts and then he got these um, crunchy peanuts with like this harder outer shell. I thought they were sweet and then I put one in my mouth and I'm like... No, I don't like that. Um, and then again, I went and I got those so natural peach ones. Me and my son ate them in the car, so I don't have any for you in here. But I did find the other two that they had at my store. They have apple and they have banana as well. And my son loves these. I mean, he loves freeze-dried um, fruit. And if you get the one with, like, um, Mickey Mouse on the cover of them, they're, like, $3 for a little bag that's, like, that big. And then, of course, it's only, like, filled up to here. But this one's, like, filled to the top. I can feel them up here. This bag is full for a dollar. And then the banana slices is not as full because they're not as big. It's about halfway. But still, that's that's a lot of little freeze-dried banana strips. And these are all natural, freeze dried, no preservatives, smart um, snack, and gluten free. They're about 18, 15, 18 for a whole, the whole bag, so of uh, grams of carbohydrates, so it's really, really good. Um, and then my husband decided he wanted to get the multi meal um, ones there. They have these two little cereal boxes. And then I was going to use coupons, but I did not know that my coupons expired two days ago. I went to go get this so it would have been three days today and I would have got all this like really cheap I would have got these two for free uh, I would have got 50 cent off of this and 50 cent off of that so I would have paid only 50 cents for all this but my coupon wasn't good but anyways we needed toothpaste so I got the Colgate toothpaste if I would have known that they were expired I would have just got the other ones because these are just the plain um, baking soda and peroxide whitening ones. That's the one that they have. And then um, the fluoride toothpaste eight and plus. The I like I like this one. I like this one. This is like my favorite. The blue, the blue kind. Yeah, I don't like the white one. And then a bottle of palm olive. Um, so yeah, hopefully one. They come by with um, newspaper again. They'll have the coupons for these again because they were really good coupons that you can use at the dollar store. And I didn't know that, so thank you very much, Angel Wings. Um, pretty sure that's her name, Angel Wings. Pretty sure. I know. I'm pretty sure that's her name. Um, but thank you so much for letting me know that they do take coupons there at the dollar store because I did not know that. So next time I get a Malto meal. Um, coupon. I'm gonna go and get them there at the store. This is driving me insane. But yeah, um, I've been like I said, I was doing the soap. Um, I did record one or two of my soaps. Um, 
not the best videos because they were really crappy but um i have a new one that i made yesterday but i did not record and it's th this one here it's just white white and pink and you can't really see it but it's a really nice rose shade of pink and they're really pretty and then i did try to make a chocolate cake one but then I had a little bit of oil separation, so yeah, it looks really, really nasty. And then my white started hardening up really, really, really quick on me. So that was like, no, no. And then I have this one. Um, this one was the lemon orange um, grapefruit zest. And the scent isn't really that strong and it gelled a little bit in the middle so i'm gonna try and just um get these to like um get a potato peeler and just do like little curly cues with them and then stick them inside a new batch and get some more of that same fragrance that sweet orange the essential oil and put that in there i'm gonna show you the other ones that i did and put that in there so that way you know it will smell better but I have a coffee one which came out really really nice look at that it's got little coffee beans in it and I did the cream with the coffee dark brown and stuff it smells good it's a really light scent because I didn't have really really strong coffee I had just a uh, light light coffee it wasn't strong at all um, this one is the coconut one, which I forgot to put the fragrance in. It kind of morphed the colors a little bit. But this one smells so good. This one does smell, like, amazing. It smells so good. I'm so thankful that I did two batches of it because it smells so good. And then the first batch I did, I, like, miscalculated how much I needed for my little trays. And I had enough to do like three molds. So I have the oatmeal, milk, and honey one. That's my first one. And this one really is like a really hard bar. And it smells so good. It's got um, honey almond fragrance oil in it. So you get a little bit of honey and a little bit of almond. But it does have goat's milk in it. Um, the coconut one has um, coconut milk and coconut water in it uh, and then this one was the one I made the other day that I had to rebatch which means it did not come out at all like bad it did not come out at all like it had so many oil pockets in it and it was just squishy so I had to heat it up but it smells so good and now it's nice and hard. I did have really pretty swirls of green, pink, and blue. And yeah, I kind of had to just like mix it all together. And then it came out with this nice, um, this is more like, um, a really light leafy green, but it's coming out blue on my tablet. There we go. See, it's like a really light green. Mm, that just smells so good. I used, um, it was a, I forgot what it was. Um, but it was a fragrance and it smells like kind of like dandelions, like little flowers outside. It's very florally. But yeah, that's all my soaps. Can you see? Don't, don't judge my mess, but look, there's my big tray and my little one over there. So I have quite a few. Um, I'm going to sell these at my church and see how it goes. And if people like them and they want more or they want me to redo one that I've done. This one's. This one's for my mommy. It's really big. It's a big chunk <laughs> compared to this one. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I still got to wait for them to cure a little bit. And then I'm going to go and shave them down a little bit to size and make them look pretty. But, yeah. Um, oh, it's dark. It's dark. Ah! Okay, well, that's it for my little video right now. Um, I am sorry that I have not been posting. Like I said, I lost my camera and I could not find it to like save my life. I could not find my camera until like the other day, like two days ago. And I'm like, really? Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this here and I will see you guys later. Please like, comment, and subscribe and be a part of my YouTube family. So I'll see you guys later. Love you, bye.